Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Bars Guru, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Arctic Freezer 34 Duo CPU cooler on your AMD Ryzen based system. Now, you may be wondering why I have all these other coolers stacked up next to me on the bench, and the short answer is they are a little teaser for a very big cooler shootout coming soon on the channel. I decided as long as I had the Freezer 34 Duo on hand, which I consider the best low price cooler on the market, I'd show you all what you get when you spend a little bit more, or perhaps a lot more on a 120 millimeter based CPU cooler. Now the goal of that shootout will be to show you the upgrade potential you can achieve by moving from something like the Freezer 34 Duo, which comes in around $40 to $45, up to the best coolers available from all the other manufacturers on the market with outstanding examples from Scythe, Noctua, Be Quiet, and Corsair in the form of their Hydro H60 liquid cooler. All of these coolers will fit in the space required by this cooler, which was a requirement of the shootout. So again, if you're interested in the Arctic Freezer 34 Duo, that's what you're gonna be seeing in this video. But in a video coming up soon, you'll see a lot more coolers that are similar in size, a little bit higher in price, and perhaps higher in performance, as we will find out. But for now, let's turn to the Freezer 34 Duo and I'll show you how to install it. I'll catch you in a moment. Arctic specializes in PC cooling. They make case fans and CPU coolers, and that is it. So they really focus their research in these areas. This, of course, is the Freezer 34 Duo, which uses dual Bionics 120 millimeter fans, which you can see here. This fan is optimized for pressure, so it can really push the air through the tightly packed fins of the cooler. Okay, I've got the various parts assembled. These are the brackets that hold down the cooler. Got the standoffs, I've got the thumb screws, got a little packet of MX4, but honestly, I hate using these tiny little packets. So I'm just gonna throw that away. And luckily, Arctic was kind enough to give me a full syringe of their MX4 2019 edition. I highly recommend you actually pick up a syringe of this or a competing brand because these syringes make it a lot easier to apply your thermal compound and also allow you to do it more than once. So this costs about probably eight or nine bucks, and definitely worth the investment. To prepare the motherboard, we actually need to remove the pre-installed AMD socket mounts here. These brackets are used for the standard reference style cooler. We don't have that here, of course, and so I'm just gonna remove these, and I'll be back in a second. There are actually three different standoffs included with the Arctic Freezer 34 Duo. One has no notches machined into it. One has two notches machined into it. Those are both for Intel. The one in the middle is the one you want if you're using AMD that has one notch machined into it, as you can see right here. That's your AMD standoff. Note that the standoff is not symmetrical. One side has a larger thread than the other. The side with the notch is the one that gets screwed into the motherboard backplate. Next up, we actually attach this bracket to the bottom of the cooler. And note, I do need to remove the fan. All right, I've turned the cooler around and I'm attaching the second bracket to the back of the cooler. All right, applying the thermal paste. First, we take off this label. Then either you're gonna use the MX4 that is included with the kit or in my case, I'm gonna use this syringe of MX4, which I prefer to use and I recommend if Building PCs is something you're gonna do potentially more than once, definitely invest in a tube of thermal paste like that. Each of these heat pipes makes direct contact, individual contact with your CPU heat spreader. That means you actually have to apply four individual lines to the heat sink itself. Typically on other coolers, if you just have a flat panel here or a flat heat spreader, 
you would actually apply your thermal paste to the CPU, a pea-sized dot in the middle. But that is not the type of cooler I have here. This is another reason I really like the syringes. It makes it a little bit easier, although obviously not perfectly easy, to control how much thermal paste you're applying. And when you're trying to do something that's not just a dot in the middle, well, it's a little bit more complicated. So that doesn't look too neat, but you know what? The cooler doesn't really care. I got about the right amount on each of those heat pipes. So let's go ahead and install that on the CPU. Okay, here's my CPU. I've already got my standoffs. All right, the Arctic cooler is in place. On either side, you'll see the brackets, screw holes, or the standoffs are here. I use the thumb screws to screw it down. Now I will say that this is a little bit more finicky of an installation than a lot of coolers that allow you to screw it down with the fans in place. Here I have to take the fans off. Now that makes it more complicated because I then need to install the fans after the heat sinks in place and this can be very difficult if you're installing it with the motherboard in the system because then you have to reach your hands into the case and snap these fan clips on which is pretty troublesome but in this situation it's not that hard because I don't have my motherboard in my case clearly. So here's my cooler, there are my thumb screws. To secure them entirely, I do need to use a screwdriver. I want to go from diagonal to diagonal, equalizing the pressure. Okay, it's secure. I can now attach my fans. Make sure that your fans are oriented in the proper direction. Really easy way to do this is to note that the spinning hub is the intake side of the fan and the solid frame is the exhaust side. So the exhaust is what you want blowing through the heatsink and out the back of your case. The fan system, the fan clip system that Arctic uses is not modular. There's only one setting for the fan height, which is fine because it doesn't block the RAM slots. Note that we have clearance for all four of our RAM slots here, including this empty one here. Now I will attach the rear fan, again noting that the exhaust side here now needs to face the rear of the motherboard over here. This cooler uses two fans obviously, and they nicely include splitters on each fan. So you don't need to get your own splitter. You don't need to find the splitter in the box. The splitters are actually attached to each fan. So you can use either of the splitters. I'll plug the rear fan into the front fan and then I'll plug the front fan into the CPU header. It says CPU fan. I'll tuck my cables out of the way and I'll be done with this installation. And here's the cooler up and running in my system. As you may have noticed, it features a white on white color scheme, which is actually a new offering from Arctic in the Freezer 34 Duo lineup. You can buy it now at retail for about $45 to $50. I think it's a great addition to any system. Despite not having any RGB lighting of its own, it really reflects all of the lighting in the case so that it adds to any system regardless of color. If you have any questions, please post them down below and I will catch you soon.